coworker found the married with kids boss banging one of the cashiers in the safe room. He was in his late 40s. She was 18. What is the most NSFW thing that happened at your work? WhatsApp viewer, the algorithm gods are blessing me and keep bringing you back for more of my story times. If we haven't met yet, I'm Andrew, one of the best Reddit storytellers in the game. While you're here, why don't you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell. If you don't, I'll have to personally come out to wherever you live and duck your mom. If you think I'm lying, I have your IP address silly. Anyways, hope you did that, let's get into the stories. One of my coworkers often would pull up her dress and flash another girl in the office for fun. One time she decided to do it in the copy room just as the owner of the company walked in. HR lady grabbing my junk under the table at a company picnic. Move her hand and look over, and she is doing the same thing to my boss on the other side of her. She may have been slightly intoxicated. Co-worker banging girl from produce in the dairy cooler thinking the shelving would hide the deed. Store manager was not pleased when he got the complaint. Edit. This appears to be very common, the store I was at was in northwest Indiana, and this was around the year 2000. Once when I was younger and worked in a restaurant, I showed up to work without my slip-resistant shoes. My boss was like, hey where are your slip-resistant shoes? Then I remembered that they were in my car, so I went and changed into them. It was crazy. I almost started my shift without my slip-resistant shoes. On a multi-story construction site, typically there will be an elevator operator. On my first job site ever, the elevator operator was a very short, very friendly Hispanic woman. She would make small talk with everyone and lightly flirt occasionally. A coworker thought the light flirting was a bit more, and, when he was the only other one in the elevator, whipped his erect dick out. She promptly reported him and he was summarily fired. Edit. I get it, dick's out for harem. Aerosmith wrote a relevant song. Wrong on so many levels. Something something going down. A while back I worked at a company of about 300 people. One of the guys I worked with was convinced another dude in the department next to us jerked off in the bathroom. So he watches the dude all night until it's like 2 a.m., night shift, and he finally goes to the bathroom. He follows Jack Offer into the bathroom, stands up on the toilet with his phone and records him. He was jacking off. The guy showed HR the next day, and they were both fired. They were both pretty stupid. The it guy at my old job got caught banging one of the directors in her office while the call center was open by his wife who also worked there. He then got divorced, married the director who got fired over it, and his ex-wife turned lesbian and married one of the ops team ladies. Certain meetings were pretty interesting after that. I used to work in a Cinnabon at a mall. One evening a guy walked up to the front counter, whipped his dick out, and started pissing all over a glass display case, smiling like an idiot the entire time, then tried to deny what he'd done and order a drink. Like most mall food places the front counter was the front of the store, so this was happening out in the midst of all the mall's foot traffic. Though I should probably let everyone know we weren't in the food court. The guy got arrested, in case you were curious. Edit. Since a lot of people are asking, this was in Colorado Springs about 15 years ago. Edit 2. Yes, Chapel Hills Mall everyone. I used to work at a moderately priced small motel in San Francisco. We used to have Craigslist escorts there all time during the casual encounter days. One morning an escort who was using the free computer in the lobby said, this guy is willing to pay an extra $100 if I cover my entire body with Jiffy peanut butter and have sex with him. She ended up doing it the next day the housekeepers burst into the lobby screaming in Hispanic accents. John, oh my god there's peanut butter everywhere it's on the bed, the walls, the mirrors, the TV I don't understand. Crap was legendary. Edit 1. Damn dot dot I can't believe this got so many responses let me try and answer some of the most common questions. I have no idea if it was smooth or chunky I'm gonna take a guess and hope for the girl's sake that it was smooth. I should have stated that the hotel was moderately priced for San Francisco. It was about $120 a night for one bed and $180 for a two bed. 
After working there two years I found out that many many people could swing at hookers, escorts, pimps, drug dealers, drug addict. Deployed in Afghanistan. I was in the shower when all of a sudden we were being hit by incoming mortars. One of the mortars landed so close and loud that I didn't think twice about grabbing a towel. I ran straight to the nearest bunker, and apparently I wasn't the only one that reacted the same way. So here I am with 10 other people completely nude. Everyone was hiding their goods, and not even so much as a giggle was heard. Slowly but surely, hands were growing weary, fear of another mortar attack had subsided, and the laughing started. Eventually, nobody cared that they were being seen in the nude by the opposite sex. Boobs and cocks were all over the place, and it was the first time in eight months since I've seen so much as a side boob. The mental images from that incident had held me over for the duration of the deployment. We got the all clear to exit the bunker, and everyone went about their business. Made a lot of close friends that day. Just one? I worked at a pet shop with a very crass manager. He once started asking me how many men of how many different races I've had, and if it's true what they say about race and dick size. I don't mind that conversation, but next to the super modest, virgin, religious Muslim colleague, really? The other time, he asked the delivery boy, bro, you hungry? And the guy is like, uh. So our boss goes. Wanna eat my dick? There were customers around. Same delivery guy once again wouldn't stop nagging, so our boss said, okay, now you're gonna get ducked in the ass. He then proceeded to unzip his jeans, start unbuckling his belt, and chaz the kid all over the store, again indifferent to any customers. I overheard a new hire mention to someone that he had found a flash drive on the floor in the break room, but it was just blank. I told him to let me see it. I have my PC set to show hidden files. Noob didn't. It was full of hundreds of pictures of someone's wife, naked, sucking a dick, getting ducked, using a vibe, posing, and on and on. The guy's face wasn't in any of the pictures. The funny part is that all the pictures had been renamed. There were only a couple left with the default name. Hundreds of files had each been manually renamed. Brushing her teeth with her titties out.jpg, sucking my hard cock in a blue nightgown.jpg, spreading her pussy on the bed.jpg, ducking her ass with the handle of her hairbrush and licking her lips.jpg. Then there was a folder with just his first name, Tony, and her name, which I can't remember. There were a few guys named Tony who worked there. I asked a couple of co-workers if any of them knew any of the Tony wives' names. Got a match. Hit Tony up on IM, did you lose a flash drive? He responded with BRT, and about three seconds later, he comes speed walking over from his department, bright red, flop sweat, looking like a complete nervous wreck. He took it, said thanks, and walked away. The kicker, to me, is this guy always called me and everyone else guy, because he didn't bother learning anyone's name. What's up, guy? You'd think after five years there and me saving your ducking job you'd remember my name. Nope. Continued to call me guy. Important edit. No. This wasn't at Walmart. Never worked at Walmart before. Not Publix, not Fred Meyer, not FOOD4 less. Why y'all worried about where it was at? Older Hispanic man got caught taking up skirt photos of a 13-year-old girl. By the girl's mom who lost her ducking mind at him. Woman's hand got cut in self-defense during an armed, knife, robbery in the parking lot. Woman's kid, toddler young child, pulled down his pants in front of customer service and crap on the floor. She pretended nothing happened, I completed her transaction, they left. I had literally zero idea what was happening until after the fact. Man crapped all the duck over himself. I mean like, himself and a good portion of the men's restroom. Another customer came out and told me that there was a crying old man sitting in his own feces in the bathroom. That customer said he would be right back, bought a bunch of wet wipes and took them into the bathroom. I was discussing the situation with my manager when the man came up and said the old man is cleaning himself off in the bathroom, and the customer said he lived about two minutes away. He then went to get a change of clothes for the old man, while my manager called the police, we were worried he could have Alzheimer's or dementia, and wanted to know he got home safely. 
The customer came back and helped the elderly man into a change of clothes, and last I saw my manager and the customer and the old man went to the front of the store. Manager said he went with the police and that the police had apparently inquired if we would like to press charges for vandalism, which my manager said no. Said manager proceeded to go into the bathroom himself to hose everything down. Each restroom had a large metal box on the wall that contained a hose for sanitation for these exact kind of moments I assume. That manager was the best manager I ever had. Good guy and a great leader. I have a few more stories about him. And that grocery store. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.